you throw up, like, inside your body? Uh-huh. I know, because I just did. About five times. <laughs> wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like, right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. I'll go first. That's not what I was saying. I'm going. Well, if you absolutely insist. Well, see you guys on the other side, I guess. Be careful. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, not what I was expecting. Oh man, that was close. There was a zombie. Oh, is it dead? I mean, you know, dead, dead. Yeah. Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... You're right. We should hurry. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. Let's, let's go with a treehouse. It's functional. It'll keep us out of danger. It's not a bad idea. All right, fine. Let's get started then. If I wake up with a spider on my face, I'm gonna expect you to deal with it. Lower your expectations, Axel. Well, maybe if we'd built into the tree a little bit more, it could have... Never mind. It's... this is fine. It's good. Looks good, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. I'll just... Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no, I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him.
If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Petra wouldn't mind at all. She'd want us to keep our spirits up. If I were her, I'd... I don't know. It feels wrong. Fine. Then, uh... We should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know, because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. He's just trying to help. See? I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Let's just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse... That's enough. We're all on the same team now. He's staying. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why's that? Because I'm starving. Of course. Rain is better than monsters. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. Sorry about all that business last night. Honestly, I'm just... I'm more embarrassed than anything else. Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. For. Let's go. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Probably not a good thing. 
Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! We're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table, maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel. A sword. Oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Dead Ender's luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is so... crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Only one way to find out. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out, then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon.
What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. It's the same as the amulet. Absolutely incredible! How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. This looks like some sort of tracking system. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. There are only two lights on that map. If there are only two heroes left, we know what we need to do. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves... Magnus, or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. But just stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys could hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. And obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard's. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. 
What, with that guy? I'm right here? Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, Redstone rarity. Amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake. Time is running out for our intrepid heroes. <laughs>